Good morning, friends. It's Mrs. Viriel with your morning announcements. Today is Tuesday, April 6, 2021, and today is a bee day. Our lunch choices today include beef tacos, peanut butter and jelly fun lunch, or chicken apple salad. And for snack, we are due to have string cheese. On Tuesday, or, or excuse me, today is Tuesday. On Wednesday, we are due to have chicken legs with fries, natural fun lunch, or the popcorn chicken salad. I don't have any birthdays today, but I know there's one coming tomorrow. Um, some national holidays. So an actual national holiday that is celebrated around the world is National Library Week. And this is a, a week just to remember and think about and be thankful for all the things the library offers us, especially um, pre-pandemic when we could really get in the library and do so much more. In addition to that, it is National Library Workers Day where we celebrate those people who are media center clerks or um, help shelve our books or, or the sweet Mrs. Rickards of the world who make the library accessible to us. The next national holiday or national day is Sorry Charlie Day, which I thought was kind of funny. And it, but it just reminded us to um, view rejection from a different perspective. Think about if somebody says no to us, why and how and what we can do differently so that maybe next time they'll say yes or we can learn from this rejection. Then it's National Student Athlete Day where we recognize the outstanding student athletes for all they've accomplished not just in our town but in many towns and around the world. And then if we couldn't end without National Caramel Popcorn Day or Caramel Popcorn Day depending on how you say it just a nice, sweet, salty treat. Um, in January was National Popcorn Day. So now we have to celebrate all the ways to eat our popcorn and caramel popcorn. Unless it gets stuck in your teeth is a pretty great treat. Uh, our quote for today is by Stephen Covey and it says, it's incredibly easy to work harder and harder at climbing the ladder of success, only to discover that it's leaning against the wrong wall. So we really got to think about what we're aiming for and what it's going to get us and how we want to get there and why we want to get there. So thank you, Stephen Covey, for making us think about that. We appreciate you. Well, the seed cups are going to get filled soon and in there, the seed packets are ready to go. Remember this week, we're going to start with sunflower seeds. So when you get your packet at home, the fun thing will be that you can go um, take your seeds, open up your packet, Looks like you get three or four seeds. You're just not going to want a ton in your cup. You're going to poke little holes around, put your seed in, lightly dust them over with some um, of the soil from the top. And then, of course, give them just a little bit of water. Don't get too hectic with the water. You might want to put your cup on some kind of little mini plate or tray because eventually the bottom is going to get just a little bit soggy. And some friends like to poke just little tiny holes in the bottom before they put their seeds in and they're, you know, make sure their soil doesn't fall out. And then they put it in a container of water so that it's like self-watering. They do that maybe for an hour uh, once a day and let it soak up the water that way. In addition to the great seed sale that's going to happen on Friday, you are going to have another chance to do some planting this week. Our friend, Ms. Ruth, Mrs. Uh, Ruth Van Boglen, is going to come in on Wednesday morning. And each class is going to come down to the media center where each child will have a chance to do some planting of some seeds for some um, new plants that we're going to put around our building. We're going to start with the south side of the building, which is over by the kindergarten and first grade lane, and help put in some plants that are called drought tolerant because they don't get a lot of uh, rain because of the overhang. So we're going to try um, planting some seeds. Mrs. Van Boglen will take them home and do the sprouting work with her sprouting lights and just some um, tools that she has at her home being a master gardener. And then she'll bring them back and we're going to have a great leadership day where we, Clay Girl Elementary students, staff, families, anybody who's able to, are going to come and do some planting. And each class will kind of have a little section that they're responsible for and that they can enjoy. And then the great thing is, is that you can go out there both um, in the last month or two of school and watch it grow and, and help weed and keep it watered and be, um, be proud and productive of what you created um, out in our garden. And hopefully those um, things will be there. Well, I know they'll be there. 
when you come back in the fall. And if you're a second grader and you're leaving us, we will send you photos every once in a while. Um, I talked to Dr. Bizu and said, can we just send a photo gallery every once in a while? And he was like, no problem. So um, I'm looking forward to that um, Wednesday morning. It's going to happen really quick. Second grade's coming at 8.30. Um, kindergarten, I think, is at 9.30. And in the middle at 9 o'clock is our first grade group. So that should be fun and exciting to um, work on tomorrow morning. All right. So I think that it is now time for me to say, look to your parents or teachers and decide how and when you'll do the Pledge of Allegiance. And remember, have a super swell day at Clager Elementary, whether in the building or somewhere else working and being representing us. Uh, you remember, you are super leaders and super readers. Have a super swell day.